Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. I am here today to talk about the Triton Audio Fethead. And what that is, it's a, basically it's a mic preamp or a mic booster, or there's a lot of names that you can call it, but basically it will boost the gain levels for your microphone by about 27 dB at 3000 ohm load. And what that means is you basically when you use a regular recorder to record a microphone, the more that you increase that gain control, the more noise that you're going to introduce into your recording. And that's usually in the form of hiss. So the higher that gain knob goes, the more you're going to hear like white noise, basically. So what this does is allows you to have that extra boost or that extra gain without any significant noise level increase at all. So this is the Fethead and it's made by Triton Audio. It's basically out of uh, the Netherlands. It's made in Holland. So it comes in this tube and it comes in this little case right here. And this is all it is. It basically goes right into the mic and you just take the existing cable and put it right here. How cool is that? You can't get any more simpler than that. So right away, that makes this really attractive. Now, let me tell you the setup I've got right now. I'm using an Electro Voice RE20 broadcast microphone. And it's not just for broadcasts, I mean, Musicians have used this to record albums with. I'll give you an example. Stevie Wonder recorded Superstitious with this way back when, uh, decades ago. But that's how good of a microphone this is. But good microphones like this that are dynamic microphones, they are basically gain hungry. So unless you have a device or a recorder or... Um, a mixer or or anything like that that can handle a low gain mic like this where you're going to have to turn up the gain you're going to be introducing noise unless you're using a preamp that's really really good and doesn't introduce noise something like um like a zoom f6 so what I'm using right now is a Zoom H8, and this is a newer handy recorder from Zoom, and it's got, of the handy recorders that are available from Zoom, this has the lowest noise yet, unless you go to the F series. And then, I mean, that's really professional stuff, but it also costs money. So without having to spend the extra money to go to the F series, we're using a Zoom H8, and as it is right now, this is requiring a gain. I mean, you've got the knobs here from 0 to 10. This is requiring a gain of 8.5 to record this mic. And that'll do. And you can see the levels right here. We're, we're keeping it under uh, minus 12 dB. And, of course, we can get louder by talking louder and so on and so forth. But to really get some good levels we're going to want to boost this even higher without noise. Now, we can get away with this with the Zoom H8. The way it is right now is fine for most applications. So here is the setup that we're going to go through for this video. This is hooked up to a Galaxy Audio JIB slash Y splitter. It's a microphone splitter and it splits this signal into two equal signals. So I've got two microphone, it's like having two of these mics. I got two of those going into track one and track two of the Zoom H8. And you can see that both of these tracks, they're of equal volume. So whatever I'm doing with this mic, you can see it's always the same level, it's equal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this and insert this on line, uh, let's see, 
line two. So I'm going to pull this out for a second and put this in its place. And there's circuitry in there to do this. It's a really, really, really nice preamp. But it requires power. So when you're using a dynamic or a ribbon mic, which doesn't use phantom power, this is actually going to use the phantom power instead of like a condenser would use phantom power. This is going to use it now. So I'm going to pull this out. You'll still hear me uh, talking on track one. So I'm going to pull this out. We're going to put this in its place. And we're going to hook this up instead. All right, so what we're going to do for right now is we're going to go in and modify track two settings to provide phantom power so that this Triton Audio fed head can operate. So we're going to wind up with track one just the way it is straight through and recording it just the way it is. And track two is going to be recorded with the fet head in between so we can see the difference right away so give me a second i'm going to go set that up one two three four Okay, so now I made the change and I am running this so that track one is recording this straight through. Track two has the fed head introduced between the microphone and track two. Now, in order to get these set so that they're both equal gain, and if you look at here at the volume levels of each, they're equal right now. And the way I've achieved that is of course, on track one, that remains at eight and a half gain. But on track two, we're down to a gain of four. So at a gain of four, we've got the same level that we had at straight through on track one with a gain of eight and a half. So, and we're going to compare uh, testing one, two, three, four testing one two three four testing one two three four testing one two three four all right so that's the story with the electro voice re20 now we're going to go ahead and change this mic out and we're going to go with a sure sm7b and let's see what a difference that makes so bear with me for a second Testing one, two, three, four. Test two, three, four. All right, now we're back with the Shure SM7B, which is even more gain hungry than the Electro Voice RE20. So while I did this, I had to adjust the levels. Now, the level on the Shure SM7B on track one, going straight through, is set to the highest level. This is set to a gain of 10. You can't get any higher on this knob over here. So I need a gain of 10 so that you can hear me just the way it is. And you can see the meters where between minus 12 and minus 60 B, depending on how long or how loud I talk. So 
And with the Fed head on channel two, I am at a gain level of five. <laughs> half of that. So you can see that's equal signals, but it's half the gain. And I'm probably using a lot less noise as well doing that. So testing one, two, three, four. 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 So, I mean, this is really impressive. Now, let's go a step further and we're going to try and hook it up to a couple of mics that don't even need a fed head just to see what we can do with that. All right, so we're going to disconnect this. Give me a second. We're going to disconnect this from here and we're going to hook it up to a Shure SM57, which is a really popular dynamic mic. Uh, you won't find a studio in the world that doesn't have a few of these in their mic locker. Test one, two, three, four. 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 Okay, so now we're hooked up to a Shure SM57. And as far as track one, which is straight through, we are looking at a gain level of eight. We have a gain level of 8. So just so you can hear me the way it is, we're trying to stay between minus 12 dB and minus 6 dB. We're doing a good job of keeping it below 12 dB, minus 12 dB right now. And on the FET head part, we are looking at a volume knob gain of 3, just 3. So listen to the difference. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. All right, so if you'll give me another second, I'm going to hook this up to a Samson R11, which is a cheap mic. It's like $30, something like that. Um, it's going to be similar to a Shure SM58, but at a lot lower price. So give me a second, and we're just going to transfer the cord from here to here and let's see what that's like. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Okay, so now I have this hooked up. And the gain levels for this to keep it right around minus 12 dB, it is at uh, seven and a half for track one. That's just straight through. If you were to take this mic and just hook it right up to your HA to record with. And using the FET head to go into track two, we are at a gain level of two and a half. So quite a nice difference. And let's try it out again. Testing one, two, three, four. 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 And finally, we're going to hook this back up again to the Shure SM7B. Testing one, two, three, four. 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 Testing. All right. So this time again, I have got this at uh, pretty much at, at 10, a gain of 10. And on this side, a gain of five and a half or so. So, again, this is the Shure SM7B, the most gain-hungry mic out of the four we've been looking at. The Electrovoice RE20, the next most gain-hungry mic. Then the ever-popular Shure SM57. 
and a very inexpensive mic, the Samson R11. So, and this is just for spoken word, and a lot of people are using mics these days, like this broadcast mic, this SM7B, and the Electro Voice RE20 for podcasting. Although each has been used very successfully for music and for vocals. I mentioned Stevie Wonder did Superstitious with this mic. Michael Jackson recorded the entire Thriller album with the Shure SM7B. So there you have it. The Fethead from Triton Audio, under $100. Without this elaborate setup, you just take that Fethead and instead of this cable going directly to the mic, you just insert it between the mic and that cable, and that's all there is to it. So, I hope this has been educational for you. I can highly, highly recommend the Fed Head from Triton Audio for you. Even if your mic doesn't need it, you're going to get so much cleaner vocals or whatever it is you're recording with a much lower noise floor. Guaranteed. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.